Hey friends, welcome back to the channel guys. So today I am going to be doing a little get ready with me, but sharing a little Sephora sale haul as well as my recommendations for the current Sephora sale that's going on right now. I believe for Rouge members it started on Friday the 28th, October 28th. So, so the sale is going on currently as we speak and then for VIB it starts on November 1st and then I believe Insider starts on November 3rd. Third, and then it all ends on November 7th. So because I only have one face, I can only put so much on my face. So I will have other recommendations listed down below, different foundations, bronzers, etc., that I have been obsessed with and that I recommend you guys picking up now that it's on sale. So this is always such an exciting time. Um, recently, I haven't been the type to really splurge on a lot of makeup just because there is a sale. But recently, and lately, I've just been like, there's really no point to have an excessive amount of makeup. I don't even wear makeup that often. So it just kind of sits there. So I've just been picking up things that I truly, truly love. And I only got like a handful of things this time, but some high-end items where it's like, Great, I can save 20% off, which is amazing because it would be a little bit pricey without the sale. I mean, let's be real, it's still pricey with the sale. So I'll just quickly share the couple of items that I picked up during the sale. So I picked up two Gucci um, lipsticks, which I'm super excited about. And I'll go into more detail later on in the video. Then I also picked up this Hourglass Mechanical Gel Eyeliner. It's 1.5 millimeters and I'm really excited about this. I wanted to do like a really soft, clean, thin, thin wing liner. I've been watching the Kardashians on Hulu and I've just been so obsessed and inspired by their makeup looks. Like I usually just watch their show just to get inspiration, especially makeup and fashion, things like that. Like what are they wearing? How are they doing their makeup? I just really love their makeup artists, like Makeup by Ariel, Makeup by Mario, and then Kendall's makeup artist. I can't even remember her name, but I loved Kendall's makeup in one of the most recent episodes and I was like, okay, I need a good liner to do like that little thin baby wing. So that's why I got those things. And then I have a couple of other goodies that I picked up recently that's not during the sale. So we'll get into that as well. So for today's makeup, I'm going to be going in with the Charlotte Tilbury um, Magic Cream. So the Magic Eye Cream and then just the Magic Cream. Because I find that this doesn't make me super dewy. I'm going to be using another um, serum product as well. And I am going to be wearing some foundation or tinted moisturizer. So I don't want to be super dewy with my moisturizer. So totally recommend the Charlotte Tilbury skincare collection. Um, it's pricey, but so, so worth it. I love the magic cream and 20% off or 10% off, whatever. It's great. But as of lately, I've been into the Ule Henriksen um, eye cream and moisturizer. So they had sent me their Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. You guys, this is so good. I love this moisturizer. It gives you like this really beautiful glow. It plumps up your skin. I mean, instantly. It's amazing. But one thing I do have to mention is that it tends to get me a little bit too dewy if I'm going to be layering on like foundations and other glow products. So I will opt for something that's a little less glowy, if you know what I'm saying. But this is amazing if you like a lot of glow. This is it, this is perfect for like no makeup makeup or if I'm just doing very, very like a minimal look. I love that. And then I also really love the Banana Bright eye cream with it. Like this is another amazing eye cream. So yeah, I definitely recommend checking out these options for skincare. I've been obsessed with these. They've just been in and out of rotation as of lately. And yeah, I, they're so good. They're just, they're just really, really good. Okay, so like I mentioned, I'm just going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic um, Under Eye Cream. And then the Magic Cream all over the face. Okay, so the next item that I have really been enjoying is by Merit, and it is a face serum, and it is their Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. I have been using this for a week or so, or a little over a week, and I'm obsessed with this. So this is Merit's newest product, and they had sent this to me to try out, and you guys, this serum is 
so so good it's so unique i don't have anything like it it literally just plumps up my skin brightens up my skin so beautifully it's like a fuse of like a serum and oil it just absorbs into the skin but it's not like super heavy like an oil like it's totally unique and this is what it looks like i had to shake it up because the products kind of separate when it sits but for let's just talk about the packaging like merit always kills it with aesthetics and the packaging but this product is amazing it's supposed to be a great base under their complexion stick which i do enjoy i don't have the best match i have to say when it comes to shape match but i love this just as skincare or to layer under makeup so that's what we're going to be doing today so to just tell you a little bit about this though before we get into it um, so this has 2% niacinamide for brightening. It has four types of hyaluronic acid for deep hydration. It also has caffeine rich cacao seed extract for plumping. So that gives you that nice like plump youthful skin. And then it also has Japanese gold thread root, which is unique. I've never heard of that, but that's for soothing and an antioxidant for protection. And then it's also pH balance for healthy skin barrier. I mean, it's such a great skincare product, but I just love how it just instantly hydrates my skin. It makes me so glowy. My skin looks youthful and like literally plump. Like it looks so good. And I just, I love this stuff. So a little bit goes a long way. Um, I recommend if you have oily skin to just stick with maybe like one pump. I'm just going to do one drop. Oh, maybe a little bit more. I get so nervous with putting like too much. That's good. Little baby drops. I'm just gonna put it in and then tap it onto my face. Beautiful glow. So if I wasn't gonna go in with any like foundation or anything like that, I would do a couple more pumps and really get that like glow going but because i am going to be putting makeup on i'm going to just do a light application but it just brings my skin back to life like it doesn't look dull anymore it just has this really nice glow it literally looks like a face oil but um it's not as heavy which i love this is beautiful and it's just my skin is prepped for makeup application which is amazing honestly i recommend if you get anything from the sale check this out if you love like a good glow product you love skincare serums it's such a great product like merit killed it on this like i literally love it it's probably my favorite product from them love it so let's get into brows it's usually what i do first i'm not gonna bore you and fill in my brows on camera but I will share with you guys some brow products that I recommend. I am obsessed with a few brow products, but as of lately, I love the Patrick Ta Brow Pencil. It's called the Major Brow Defining Pencil. I have mine in the shade Dark Brown, and it's just such a great pencil. It has a spoolie at one end, and I love thin eyebrow pencils to give you those like really fine hair-like strokes and keep the brows looking very natural. That's what I love about this. Um, and it has like a really thin, but like an oval shaped um, applicator, which is interesting, but you can see that that's like super fine. So I'm gonna go ahead, fill the brows, and then we'll come back. Okay, so brows are filled in. I really love this pencil. It just is super easy to use, super fine. Gives you those hair-like strokes like I mentioned. Um, and I really love the shade of this one, the dark brown, it's just, like perfect for my skin tone it's not too light like too brown but it's not super harsh to where it looks like you know harsh okay so now i'm gonna go in with a little bit of this anastasia beverly hills brow freeze this is a go-to i recently picked up a new one holy grail like you guys this is a must have i recommend this hands down if you're looking for a good brow gel So as you can see, it just creates like very hair-like feathery brows. And then I just take the other side and lay them flat. 
brows are on. Now let's get into the base makeup. The tension moisturizer that I have been really loving as of lately and reaching for is the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. It's actually called the Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 20 Sunscreen. It's just so good. The color match is great. It's such a natural, everyday tinted moisturizer. It just looks so good on the skin. Skin-like, it's just, it's amazing. But I also really love and will constantly recommend forever the Armani Luminous Silk. I use the shade 8.75. It's like the perfect match. It literally just disappears into my skin. So this is great for if you want glam makeup, in my opinion, if you just want natural soft looks. Like I love mixing this in with a little bit of moisturizer and creating more of like a tinted moisturizer kind of feel and it's amazing. I just, I love this stuff. So I will always recommend it, especially because it's pretty expensive. Luckily now they have small sizes, um, like a mini size, which you know, it's a little bit more affordable. So yeah, always and forever will recommend the Armani Luma Silk. I'm gonna apply a little bit of this Armani Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer. It's in the shade 10. And I love mixing this in with my foundations just a little bit, just to give an extra little glow. This is also great mixed in with the Armani Luminous Silk. Literally just a little bit. In this tinted moisturizer, I'm actually in the shade 44N. So I just use my hand as a palette and just mix it in together. I mean, honestly, you could just go in with your fingers and just kind of start blending it into the skin. I love this stuff. For concealer, I'm gonna be using the Luminous Silk Concealer, and I love this concealer as well, just as much as the foundation. They kinda of go hand in hand, in my opinion. Okay, so next I'm gonna apply a little bit of cream bronzer. I recommend picking up the Westman Atelier bronzer. Well, it's actually called their, what is this called? It's actually called their Face Trace Contour Stick and I have the shade Truffle. And this is the first product that I've tried from this brand and I love it so, so much. It's so good. I feel like this is such a great shade for my skin tone. And what I love about this one, it just blends out so beautifully onto the skin. It's so creamy and I love this shade. It's just such a soft, natural bronze, like warmth to the skin. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with a little bit of powder. So I've been using the Kosas powder religiously, but recently, like the past week, I've been going back to my Charlotte Tilbury, the Airbrush Flawless Finish because I feel like the Kosas is so beautiful and it gives like a nice glow, but I think it doesn't mattify me as much as I want it to or that I need it to. So I'm gonna take this and then just run it under the eyes. You know, my T-zone. Yeah, I just find that this one controls the shine just a little bit more for me. But Kosas and this one are just really great powders. You know what? And I forgot I also picked up during the sale the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Tan. This is a throwback, like an oldie, but a goodie. And I've missed it, so I decided to pick it up. I saw this on the um, Sephora app when I was like browsing and 
oh, what I want to buy? And I was like, you know what? I need to pick up a new micro smooth powder. I used to use this constantly back in the day. I was watching um, Alyssa Ashley. She used to always talk about this micro smooth powder and it just literally smooths out your skin. So I wanted to have it in my collection again. I put this powder on this past weekend. I was like, yeah, I miss it. It just smooths out my skin. Like when I look at my skin in the mirror and as it sets throughout the day, my skin just looks so buttery smooth. So next up, I'm gonna go in with this Hourglass palette. Their new ambient lighting edit unlocked elephant palette. So I recommend this 1000%. I love this palette. I love Hourglass powders they're so good i mean hourglass products are just amazing in general so i totally recommend them and because they're so luxe and luxurious the price is luxurious so you know if you could save a little money of course now is the time but if you were interested in this palette i think it's limited edition pick it up it's my favorite i use it literally every day um well let me take that back whenever i wear makeup but this is such a great everyday palette you have some blush you have a little bronzer you have like setting powder it's just it's so good so i'm going to just take a little bit of the bronzer shade it's not super pigmented i mean i feel like with the hourglass powders they're meant for like light catching so like when the light hits your skin it looks gorgeous and honestly i just love using these as like toppers and stuff like that run it over my bronzer You can kind of see that like when the light hits the cheek look at that that beautiful glow it's so buttery creamy i love it and what i like to do is mix the bronzer and the highlight shade together i love the hourglass powders they just make my skin look like butter so I am going to be using this for blush topper today as well, but I am going to go in with the liquid blush before. So I love Say products, but I love their blush and this is their dew blush and it's just dewy. It's just amazing, honestly. One of the best blushes ever. And I love this shade. It's the shade Chili. So it's like this really pretty pink, mauvey pink. That's the shade. It's just so pretty. And look how like, it just, oh, this dewy cream just melts into the skin. So now I'm gonna dip into these two blushes. Isn't that beautiful? Like such a coral flush. It looks just like the palette actually. So pretty. So glowy and natural. I love it. See how beautiful that is? So we're almost done. Last time I'm gonna go in with this Hourglass Mechanical Gel Eyeliner and just do that very thin wing. I tried this out the other day when I first purchased it. It's amazing. If you want a very fine point gel eyeliner, get this. So I'm just gonna do a very thin line, winged line. And I got mine in the shade Obsidian, which is um, their black shade. And it's just, I love this mechanical pencil. It's literally like a mechanical pencil. You just twist it up a little. Look how fine point that is. Look how pigmented it is. I'm just gonna do a little bit. You don't wanna waste it. Good, chef's kiss. So, so just like a very thin flick at the end. So I really love this. Just a very thin flick at the end. Super, super like baby wing. I just love it. It feels like it just kind of gives my eyes a little bit more of like a slant, kind of a cat eye look. I think it's really cute. I love that this just gives a very fine line. It's so easy to work with. This is just so good. I hope they never stop making it, honestly. It's just super black. It's 
pigmented like it just glides right on it's gel it's just amazing so yeah I have some gems in this video like so good okay so now we're gonna end it off with a little lippy and like I mentioned I picked up two lipsticks from Gucci so they are the satin lipsticks these are expensive but I found two shades that I'm obsessed with the packaging is just gorgeous look at the gold bullet packaging it's just amazing. So the first shade I have here is called Penny Beige. It's just this really pretty nude. And so I need to use this with a lip liner, um, any kind of brown lip liner, and it's just perfect for my skin tone. And then I also picked up this shade Tasty Hazel, my go-to kind of brown. It kind of has like a little bit of like red undertone. It's perfect for fall, perfect for every day. So this one is Tasty Hazel beautiful deep like brick brown shade they're super creamy satin have a really soft scent and then that's penny beige like perfect nude tones for my skin tone so I'm just gonna go in with a brown lip liner this is cork by Mac and I'm gonna be going in with penny beige then how I like to apply like lighter nudes like this is just kind of stipple it okay look at this nude shade like it's I'm obsessed it's so so good it pairs with cork so well so I feel like any brown liner so yeah pair it with any brown liner and I think it's just I love this shade. Totally recommend the Gucci satin lipsticks. I love when I find a good lipstick, especially a nude lipstick for my skin tone. Yeah, Gucci did that with this shade Penny Beige. This is honestly my new go-to lip. I love it. All right guys, so that is it for this little get ready with me slash Sephora sale haul slash Sephora sale recommendations. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed filming it and sharing with you guys all of my favorites from Sephora. I will have everything listed down below as well as other things that I recommend. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and clicking on this video. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you go and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.